Hello viewers, Kokev TV brought to you what's going on in the Central African Republic. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell, leaving a comment down below saying that I have subscribed and we will try our best to reply to your comment. Keep watching. The Central African Republic's most powerful rebel groups have formed an unlikely alliance against the government. They've captured large parts of the country and are threatening to take the capital, Bongi. Nearly a quarter of a million people have been displaced by fighting since December. Aid agencies warn they're struggling to help those affected. This is what you need to know about the unfolding crisis in the CAR. This is a country already reeling from years of war and instability. It all started in 2013 when a coalition of mostly Muslim armed groups called the Seleka marched on Bongi. President Francois Bozizé, who took power in a coup 10 years earlier, was pushed out. The Seleka was soon accused of brutality. Shortly after the coup, mostly Christian militia groups called Anti Balaka took up arms and the country descended into civil war. In 2014, a United Nations peacekeeping mission called MINUSCA was formed to stop the fighting. And eventually, in 2019, an elected government led by Faustan Arkonj Twadera signed a peace deal with the armed groups. Now, in a surprising twist, some of the rival Christian and Muslim militia now find themselves allied against this government. Deposed former President Bozizé is accused of leading them, which he denies. Days before current President Wadera sought re-election in December, the new coalition launched a military campaign vowing to block the polls. They've now taken over much of the country. Control over gold and diamond mines allows them to maintain fighters and stay armed. Elections did take place after Christmas and President Wadera won the vote. But it's the people of the CAR yet again paying the price as the men with guns fight for power. Before this latest crisis, more than a million Central Africans were displaced by years of conflict. And now over 70,000 people have boarded canoes crossing the Ubangi River, which separates the CAR and the Democratic Republic of Congo. <laughs> Control of the CAR's capital is vital. The rebels have tried to attack it, but have been repelled by a coalition of UN peacekeepers, Russian soldiers and mercenaries, as well as Rwandan troops. So their strategy now is to block food, medicine and humanitarian aid from reaching Bongi. Goods are disappearing from markets and shops. A kilogram of flour now costs a hundred dollars. On nous vend les choses et quoi d'ailleurs? Mais ce qui se passe absolument là, comment on peut vendre les choses? Comment on peut trouver des choses à manger? Tu vois, dans ces mois, mais nous ne voulons pas ça. When I was in the CAR in 2018, the government was still trying to hammer out the final details of the peace deal. But back then, like now, it doesn't have much authority over the country. They could not enforce the agreement and it seems to have quickly collapsed. This is a story many hope can change, a country with vast natural wealth like gold and diamonds, but one where the people are tormented by endless conflict. The armed groups and foreign interests motivated by these resources continue to win the day. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and comment. Also subscribe and hit the notification button so that you will be notified when we drop our next video.